So we're going to start with uh, this oil painting called Sunlit. Uh, this one was one that immediately attracted me as an honorable mention candidate because of the richness of the color, the um, complementary color scheme, and I am really enjoy the repetition of the shapes between the background foliage and the shapes of the lilies. Another honorable mention is this piece, uh, Gaia as Hope, Love, and Peace, which is a, a mixture of many different uh, media, acrylic, wool, quilted fabric, ceramic. It's a, it's a very rich uh, piece because of that um, diverse set of, of media that has been combined together. Uh, it was enjoyable to look at. It has wonderful texture and um, it's just balancing all of those diverse media was what drew me to this piece. Okay. Uh, next honorable mention we have is this um, digital photograph called Leaf in a Bird Bath. And what struck me about this one was the combination of the realism with complete abstraction, the very bright saturated colors, uh, it's a very interesting combination, and it made me keep coming back to it to look at it additional times. Um, another honorable mention we have is this piece of fused glass, polymer, clay, and acrylic. And it is called Sunflower and Butterflies. Oh, excuse me. Butterflies with eyes. <laughs> Uh, as a, a whimsical part of the name and actually the whimsy of it is a lot of what attracted me to this in addition to the saturated colors uh, the the balance of the arrangement and um, just a very fun piece to look at in a, at a time when we need a little bit of joy and whimsy <laughs> Uh, the last of the honorable mentions is this digital photograph called Stacked Glasses. And on the surface, it's a very simple composition, but it's an extraordinarily strong composition with a wonderful, strong negative shape. But within the positive shapes of the glasses, there's just wonderful repetition um, that sort of makes this come to life. And there's also an, an extraordinary amount of control with the lighting that uh, brings so much subtlety into a piece with so many strong contrasts. Um, in addition to the honorable mentions and the, the three uh, main awards, I also wanted to do a couple of Judges' Choice Awards to recognize um, artists who are working in mediums perhaps for the first time or are emerging artists and wanted to recognize the work that they are doing and also to encourage those artists to keep working because I think there's a lot of potential in what I'm seeing in their work. So one of the Judges' Choice that I've selected is this acrylic. Uh, called Grand View. It's an extraordinarily complicated subject and a landscape to be uh, trying to represent with this e extraordinary sunset, uh, very detailed sky, and then of course these many layers of the trees going back to the distant mountains, and then also the foreground piece of the farm. Um, just extraordinarily complicated and I think represented very well. Um, it has a wonderful sense of light. There is a certain uh, kind of light that happens in the evening that I personally love, and I believe this piece really does capture those strong lighting patterns. The other judge's choice that I wanted to award was for this piece, uh, which is called Under the Surface. And uh, this is a, a, an unusual medium. It's charcoal on panel, which, um, I find to be an extraordinarily technical challenge uh, because of the roughness of the panel surface uh, to be able to control that and get um, 
any kind of smooth gradient, um, I think had to be very challenging for the artist. And I appreciate that, that the artist was willing to take that challenge. Uh, I think it also has a very strong composition, the overall design of it, um, you know, drawing me into the upper left quadrant uh, and then allowing the eye to sort of circulate through the rest of the piece. Um, and I think it's just a, a very strong attempt and uh, deserves to be recognized. Um, the third place award goes to uh, this piece, which is a digital painting uh, called Muted Likeness. And I just think the sense of this is very evocative. There's a wonderful negative space uh, that's part of the composition. It's very strong in terms of its value contrast, but there are really subtle, beautiful gradients, particularly in the skin of the figure. And the edges, the handling of the edges is, is really, really nice. Uh, this very sharp edge uh, along this shoulder versus sort of the soft edges in other areas. Um, just wonderful texture. It's just a beautiful piece. Uh, in second place, we have this acrylic painting called The Weary Pilgrim. Um, first of all, the presentation is beautiful. Um, the, the frame and the painting and the entire presentation just it wonderfully complements one another. Uh, the texture in this piece is astounding. Um, just it, it really makes me want to touch it, to be honest, <laughs> which of course I will not do, but it just has a wonderful tactile sense about it. Uh, very strong design. I, I'm really drawn to the, uh, the sort of the bouncing back and forth with the, the face of the figure and the, the, the three birds. And there's a narrative to it that is um, very evocative and mysterious that uh, also adds to the richness um, that it's just a wonderful piece. And finally, for best of show, uh, we have this extraordinarily unusual piece. Uh, it's called Main Street Matrix, and it is made of foam and acrylic. It is, it is carved foam. I've never seen anything like it before, um, which is one reason why it's attractive to me. Uh, subject matter and design, I love this piece. <laughs> Um, I love the juxtaposition of the strong geometric shapes with the organic um, shape in the bottom corner with the, the flowers. Um, I, I like the distorted perspective. You know, again, I, I've never seen anything like it. It's, it's a very three-dimensional presentation. Uh, even the frame is made out of the foam. Uh, there's a wonderful deep space here to the left and going up underneath the porch that it just, it has uh, incredible depth because of this carved uh, medium. And then the handling of the paint on that surface also has a, a wonderful um, patina that sort of fits the subject matter of this older house as well. It's just, this is actually the kind of subject matter that appeals to me personally. <laughs> So there is a little bit of you know, my, the kinds of things that interest me that draw me into this piece, but I just think the design of it and its unusual nature is, I just, this is a wonderful, wonderful piece. I love this piece.